We've been in Serbia for a total of 10 minutes, I'd say. You can only fill up five liters of fuel each time, which is gonna be a nightmare. Do you have anything to say for yourself, Charlene? We were gonna go to sleep. We heard gun. Oh my God, we're running out of fuel now. What's going to happen? She got a bit of a small problem with the heater again, so. <sighs> Welcome to our channel. We're Charlene, Chris and Holly. And we've spent the past nine months living in our motorhome whilst traveling Europe. During our first winter in the van, we experienced real snow for the very first time and created so many memories that will last us a lifetime. But now it's time to travel somewhere warmer. day two of our journey east and we've got a big problem already so this morning we woke up to no electricity whatsoever just checked the display solar panel everything is off we've checked the mcb switch which seems to be working fine so it's not that we have absolutely no idea what the problem is and i think this is the worst problem that we ever had definitely nothing is working the heater isn't working the lights are off the fridge as well so we need to fix it as soon as possible last time we were here it was covered in snow yeah yeah <laughs> so we arrived and now we are waiting for him to come and check and hopefully he solves our problem today but guys, the important thing is for me that our van is very, very clean. Look at that! We got a shiny van today. Okay, he came. When I switch on... Uh, juice. We're in business. So this is it. Yeah. It's oh my god. Off? Oh. It's on. Like this, it's on. Up. Yeah. Working? Yes. <laughs> that was fun. So guys, it looks like it was just that small switch. While I was cleaning. So while Charlene was cleaning, bless her doing a great job <laughs> she decided to flick a switch oh this is, it. this is how it should be so it has to always be in the upright position remember that chris for next yes. time do you have anything to say for yourself charlene it's not my fault it's just i was cleaning and i touched it a bit but <laughs> oh my god I don't know, we look on. stupid to these guys, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm just glad we've got electric now. We can carry on with our journey east. Yeah. Who would think that because of cleaning, you get to come to the repair shop, right? It's dangerous, I told you. All this cleaning is too dangerous. <laughs> If you've been following us, 
you most likely already know that we spent a week helping out with humanitarian aid to refugees from Ukraine. It was at this point that we made the long journey across Slovenia and Hungary to help out at the border. We would like to once again thank all of you that supported by sharing and donating. And if you haven't seen the Ukraine video yet, we leave a link in the description to check it out. Today we're in the south of Hungary. Uh, we left the border uh, on Slovakia yesterday, made our way down into Hungary and crossed, crossed over uh, as far as Budapest and headed south. We're currently just outside the large city of Zeged. We're currently uh, in a Tesco parking lot and this is where we slept last night, uh, which was overall quite good. There's a Shell petrol station and we've got free Wi-Fi where we are. Uh, the only downside was that about midnight, just about when we were going to go to sleep, we heard gunshots. They were coming from the other end of the parking lot. It seems there was this car with a couple of guys in, did some shots in the air and drove off. So no idea at all what happened. All I know is like half an hour later, the police came back and they were taking photos and everything. So we didn't really get to bed at midnight uh, we ended up going to sleep about two o'clock and after that we slept quite well to be honest but a bit of a scary thing to see before you go to sleep anyway the plan today now is to cross uh, through Serbia so we're going to continue our journey to our original destination we're going to cross two border crossings we're going to start with Serbia we've got a long drive through the whole country of about seven hours I believe and then we're going to cross into Bulgaria, hopefully tonight. Holly, Ready to go. So, new law in Hungary, you can only fill up five litres of fuel each time, which is going to be a nightmare. I think we're going to have to stop at every petrol station and fill up five litres. Oh, mamma mia, really? Yeah. Oh. We'll see what the situation is in Serbia. Hope, hopefully it's better, but this is crazy. We waste a lot of time. Yeah, I just put in five liters. That's it. It stops. Uh, let me let me try and do the gas as well. So yeah, so I don't know what, what's best really. Stopping at every petrol station, paying the normal price. Or maybe we cross into Serbia. And you'd pay that bill. <laughs> yeah, she said, it's really expensive, but I think there's no limits. This is crazy. I think we should stop now at the next one or two petrol stations, try and fill up again five euros of each, diesel and LPG. Instead of seven hours now, it's gonna take us 15 hours. Yeah. I mean, stop being at every station. No, but we just do that so we can fill up the LPG. Yeah. And then we'll cross into Serbia and hopefully we'll be able to. Fill it all. Fill it all, yeah, albeit at a higher price. On the bright side, it's a beautiful day today. It's sunny. I mean, there is a little bit of breeze, but it's beautiful. What a good day, eh? So we started off with gunshots this morning. <laughs> now we've got a fuel shortage. What's next? We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, so he's filling it up. So I guess they didn't get the memo. <laughs> Filled up the tank full. So happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, so what they're doing, they're all locked. So you can't kind of fill it up yourself to stop people from coming and filling up jerry cans. But at least... Ah, so there should be an assistant with every... Yeah, yeah. Petrol station to give you more than five. 
not necessarily, but he has, so I'm happy with that. Let me go and pay, we'll hit the road. Yeah. LPG's not working though, so we need to stop somewhere else. Okay. Thank you. We'll pass exactly from here. Mm -hmm. Like this much, each side. Uh, where are you going now? Uh, Bulgaria. And then across Serbia. Two people. Two people and a dog. We just about passed here, look. <laughs> Trying to not hit the, the mirror. <laughs> Holly wanted to come to the front so she can see what's going on. Yes, we've just crossed into Serbia. We've got, we're not going to see much really, we're just going to drive through it. So we've got six hours, I think, till we reach Bulgaria. She's very tired today. Yesterday she didn't sleep that much. So now we are driving and whenever we drive she gets more tired. The roads are much better in Serbia than Hungary. Nice and flat. Enjoy driving on. We've been in Serbia for a total of 10 minutes, I'd say, and we've got a new light which is flashing on the dashboard. Never seen it before, so we've just pulled over at the first fuel station and we're going to check it out. It looks like a bomb. Oh my god, man. So Chris is looking on the internet. I'm trying to figure out what it is. So I'm looking at all these different signs. I can't see it anywhere. It's like it doesn't exist. Ah, lamp fault indicator. It just means that one of our bulbs has gone. Ah, oh, okay. It's really weird. <laughs> All the lights seem to be working fine. What else is going to happen today? It's still midday. <laughs> Anyway, nothing to worry about. Let's keep on going. And tonight we'll, we'll have a look when it gets dark. Back Problem solved, guys. Not really, but... Yeah, but it's okay. I mean, it's, a, it's Problem, such a small thing, you know? Problem identified. Yeah. <laughs> amazing view that we have while we are having a cup Break. of tea Holly is in full energy now she's been asleep all day but look at her now <laughs> how long have we been driving for? Five hours, I would say. Hadi, she visited another country today, which is Serbia. Hmm? She's going crazy, huh? We're gonna soldier on. How long left? Two hours. Another two hours. We went through Belgrade, and since we've reached the south, it's just a bunch of fields and open landscape, and like mini mountains, I would say. They're not really big ones. Mm -hmm. More like hills. Yeah, or big hills, yeah. Landscape is just beautiful here. Look at that from yeah. <laughs> behind you. She's having a... <laughs> what is she doing there? She's on her back. Oh, look at her. <laughs> oh, I need to change this. The pillow sheet. What are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna scratch everything. Stop it. <laughs> She's crazy. 
Look, now she's looking for her broom. She left it behind. Wally. I don't have it. She left it behind you. <laughs> okay, shall we go outside? Holly is a bit scared because of the trucks. Because <laughs> we're very close to the highway. Come on, let's go in. Okay. Yep. Sorted. Uh, yes, yes. So I just had to show her the, the vaccination record. And we are good to go. station is two minutes away. Let's just hope it's open. So guys, we came to fill up our uh, tank and he accepts only cash and the road to get in, it is unbelievable. There are no signs to get in. There are no normal roads to get in. You just have to go in through the what do you call it? Through the mud. Through the mud. There should be a road. Here, yeah. Here. Left, left. No, no. Or, yeah, here, here. On the right, on the right. Oh my god. Yeah, here. Left now. Now left. Left, left. Turn, turn. No one's coming? No one's coming, no. Fuel now. Yeah, even me. But these roads are driving me nuts. Six lever, yeah? Six. Six lever. What nation are you? Uh, speaking English, but from Malta. Malta? Oh, <laughs> from Malta, Malta. super. <laughs> uh, this is for you. Thank you. Exit uh, for uh, security. Yes, this, yes. This Okay. Security, is it? Money. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Fucking legend. <laughs> we arrived quite late last night. We came to this small like campsite slash storage place. So we're pretty tired after the drive yesterday. It was a tough one, really long. I think it took us about 11 hours in total. Obviously we stopped along the way. Um, Serbia was really nice to be honest. Like the roads, especially from Nice into Bulgaria, they were perfect. We really enjoyed driving there. Then as soon as we entered Bulgaria, it seems they were 
um, fixing up all of the roads, which was a nightmare to drive on, big holes everywhere, and um, we was almost ran out of fuel as well at one point. So luckily we found a petrol station, which we barely got into. We haven't reached our final destination yet. If you look at the map, I'm sure you know where we're going next. And in a couple of days, we'll uh, move towards the border. Good morning, guys. We are in Bulgaria. Where we are, we are surrounded with motorhomes, basically. Um, this is a storage for motorhomes and a parking spot as well and there are plenty of them here which is amazing <laughs> i'm like a kid looking to this one and that one you know and wandering around anyway um but i would pick only one to be honest i would pick this one <laughs> which is ours of course <laughs> But you go crazy, you see all of these new models nowadays, it's, it's just, I don't know, just different, <laughs> but they're really nice. Anyway, um, so yeah, yesterday I went to do my hair as well, and I hope you like the color that I did. I really love it. This is a new me. <laughs> so now I'm going to wake Chris up because he's still asleep, and then we are heading to our next location. What's up everyone? Welcome to my new caravan site. <laughs> How do you feel surrounded with these motorhomes? Yes, we've got some lovely motorhomes today on offer. There's a brilliant Leica behind you. <laughs> Turn around. New model Leica. We've got an old turbo D and a hypermobile at the end. Some brilliant motorhomes here on offer and for the right price. Because today we're going to take it easy. We're only going to drive... Three hours. Three hours, yeah. Three hours to our next... Um, campsite this time we are going to a campsite so we are going to charge again and fill our water tanks and empty so yeah see you on the road So guys, we arrived at the campsite, this is where we are parked, there is another guy in a, his camp, and it's just us here, there are some roosters, <laughs> oh my god, there are dogs, oh my god, they're coming, <laughs> oh come Polly, come Polly, <laughs> So we've made it to the east of Bulgaria, um, just outside this town called Harmanli, and we've stayed at this amazing campsite. As you can hear, it's like a farm. So uh, we're about to continue our journey east, but we've actually got a bit of a small problem with the heater again. So uh, we need to get that fixed first. We found a camper shop about two hours back, kind of northwest. So we're going to head in that direction now towards the mountains in Bulgaria and hopefully they can fix that for us. This time it's not even turning on so we need to see 
whether it's a big problem or just something small. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, why we were here at this campsite, we met this amazing Dutch guy, and uh, he's been traveling for over 14 years, just on his motorbike. And he's got a little camp which he sets up wherever he goes. So we heard some really crazy stories from him as well. But anyway, back to the issue at hand, we need to fix this heater. Before we head to the camper shop, we found a couple of electricians close by. We're just gonna go and check them out, see if anyone speaks English, and maybe they can have a quick look at it before we head back. He said they're too busy, um, and they've got a big problem with employees in Bulgaria. If you can park at my place, it is for free, it is safe. If we stay positive, maybe these guys can help us. Thank you. 